Hello everybody, Hugh Sung here and I'm getting ready to go back on the road or I should probably say back to the skies. I'm getting ready for another very long flight and I just wanted to share a little something. You know, one of the, the worst things about flying long distance are the airplane seats. I mean, I, you know, I always fly economy. I'm sure it's better if you're flying first class, business class, what have you. But for mere mortals like myself who can't afford those kinds of flights, those airplane seats can be such a killer on my back and, and especially my butt, you know. <laughs> uh, so I've, I've been trying to think of a way to see if there's any way to mitigate the, the long hours of sitting in a cramped position to see if there's some way to get some relief. Um, I was at one point, I, was, I, I remember a friend of mine had given me this special cushion that had like um, two valves of air that could, uh, only one of the valves would inflate at a certain time. They'd have a little channel in between them. You kind of put them, you sit on this and it kind of always keep you in motion, which would keep your, uh, your pelvis from locking up and hopefully, in, and the idea was to prevent lower back damage. And I love that, that cushion, but I, I gave it away and haven't been able to find it since. And everything else seems so bulky in terms of um, lower back seat cushions and things like that. Well, um, when I was in Korea, uh, sorry, when I was in Vietnam, I should say, uh, just a month ago, uh, a, a colleague of mine introduced me to a really interesting product. I just got it in the mail a few days ago, and I have to say, I'm falling in love. And I'm realizing, wait a minute, this could be perfect for taking on the plane to relieve me of the back and butt issues that I have sitting on these planes. I'm going to show this to you. Take a look at this. This, now this, this is something I believe, if I, if I uh, was watching these videos, these instructional videos correctly, I think this originated in Japan. And this product seems to go under a couple different names. The, the product my friend showed me was called Recover Ring, but it's, I've also seen it named as the, um, the Zen Ring. Uh, I'm going to put some links to whatever products I can find. They all look like they're the same thing, but Zen Ring or Recover Ring, whatever you want to call this, this is a self-massage device that was original that became very popular in yoga circles in Korea. I'm not sure if it's popular here or in other yoga circles around the world, but boy, this thing is amazing. Now, primarily, people use this on a on a, an exercise mat, lying down, and you can do all sorts of things. I'm going to show you how I plan on taking this on the plane with me. And I'll probably have to do a follow-up video, but I'm really excited because I, I've, I've been testing it out here at home. I love this. I, I want to bring this with me everywhere. Anyway, so this is the Recover Ring or the Zen Ring. And let me show you a couple ways that I'm hoping to use this on an airplane seat to relieve me of some of the pain that I get. So what you can do is for, for your lumbar, you can see it's kind of shaped and you can it's kind of curve this way. I'm going to put the curved portion over here and I can put this against my back and and... Ooh, there we go. Ah, and I can kind of rub back and forth, and that's instant lumbar stretching right there. That's that's always kills me on an airplane seat. They always seem to be curved the wrong way, but ah, oh, this feels great. Of course, if your shoulders are giving you some problems, you can also kind of put it up a little bit higher too. Okay, um, you can also for neck support, you can turn around this way and put this against the cushion and you know kind of angle it against the base of your spine base of your skull and your neck rub that along oh it feels good now here's here's the really cool application turn it this way and you can sit on this and this will go into what are they called the gluteus maximus i guess the, the butt cheeks I sit on this and this is where i get a lot oh yes and then you can kind of rock back, oh, rock back and forth. This is exactly what gets sore when I'm, oh, this feels great. Oh, I almost can't wait to get on the airplane seat. And there's one more really cool thing that you can do with this. Um, you can actually, you know, it depends on how thick your legs are, but if your legs are thin enough, you can actually put this on your calves. Now look at this, I'm gonna take this over here like this. I think you put it in this way. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. Look at the no, let's see. Might be too difficult with my pants on, but the idea was, oh yeah, I can do it, I can do it. Yeah, it's so gonna slip it on your calf. There we go, a little bit tricky, but I can actually slip it on. There you go, 
You know, if you, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I can slip it on and then I can kind of, fl ooh, that's another area that gets really tortured on an airplane. Uh, all the blood, you know, flowing down to your legs and having this to kind of massage the calves and get the circulation back up this way. This is amazing. So I'll, I can just have my leg down here, kind of flex one calf at a time and then switch it over to the other leg, slip this through. Let's see if I can get this. It's a little, tr little tricky with pants on. It's a little bit easier when I don't have pants. So again, this might not work if your legs are too thick, but if your legs are thin enough, uh, that's great. But I'm particularly excited about sitting on it and uh, also for the lumbar support. I guess you could do it this way or this way. I think this way is actually a little bit better because this, yeah, because the, the sideways just kind of goes on either side of the spine and you can really kind of dig into the muscles along your spine that way. So this is the recover ring or the Zen ring, or I think I've seen it at least one or two other names of this. So I'll list as many of these as I can. Now, the one I got was manufactured in Korea. So it took a little while, but I was able to find it on Amazon. Like I said, I'll put some links in so that you'll be able to get your own. But if you're planning on traveling a lot on the plane or spending a lot of time cooped up on seats, you really should consider one of these things. This is amazing, really, really terrific. So that's my, my latest travel advice for long flights and uh, I'll see you next time.